So this video is going to show some new features in the latest uh, Zoom Notes version 8.5. Um, so I'll start with one that concerns folders. So if you just drag down on the main view of all your documents, you've got a new selection here, folders first. Uh, and with it enabled, it's going to put all the folders first, followed by your documents. So that's just a personal preference, which, which way you prefer to use that. Um, and it also affects um, symbols. So again, pull down at the top, um, all your uh, folders first, followed by um, other ones. And that will, if you've got subfolders, I can't see if I've got any here, but um, if you had then the same ordering would affect uh, the subfolders as well. Um, the next thing uh, to have changed uh, is the sidebar. So it's got a new button at the bottom, which if I touch and hold it, then I can resize it um, to really silly small, but um, you just need to just uh, adjust it to um, however you've set up that sidebar, because you can have different number of buttons and different things in it through the workspace settings. Uh, you can minimise and it's going to take it to a corner. Um, the other thing is if it's um, big enough then it will show, or if you've docked them at least, your saved settings uh, down here. So um, if it's not big enough they'll disappear but then you can scroll to them like that. Um, now, uh, the other thing that can appear on there is um, the page pages toolbar. So I'll dock that now. And you can see it's now docked on the left. So um, you can still toggle it on and off with the pages button on the top bar. Um, but it, it, when you show it, it's going to sh when it's docked, it'll show on this this sidebar. Um, if you press and hold on the top button, then you get a yellow sign, a uh, yellow perimeter, and you can drag it, and it'll auto dock to whichever side you you sort of approach. So top, bottom, left, right. Um, and if you shrink it and do it, then you can choose which corner it's going to shrink into that way as well. Um, so I prefer it up there. And I actually, I think I've grown to prefer it across the top. Um, so another thing that's changed is... Um, I've uh, dealt with the pages bar, but it, full screen mode is a bit different now. It'll remember if you want uh, that minimised or maximised in full screen, so the auxiliary bar, sidebar it used to be called. Um, minimised but can show. But also you can configure exactly which buttons are visible in full screen mode. So I'll just quickly do that. Uh, workspaces, user interface. Scroll down a bit, um, undo buttons, show unfull screen button, show uh, magnification window or uh, auxiliary bar. So I've turned them all off, so I should have a blank screen if I. Okay, there's absolutely no interface now, I'm free to um, work as I like. To exit, long press, get the edit menu, exit full screen. Um, so it's up to you what you have uh, visible. If you undock uh, this bar, then it's going to remain visible. So you can choose your favourite pen still in full screen mode. Um, similarly with the pages, if you want that uh, undocked, um, full screen, they're still going to be there. Um, on press, I'll let you put that where you like. Similarly with this one. Um, so have that down there. And then exit full screen. There we go. 
Um, there's been a change to uh, making shapes. So I'm going to draw a shape. So pretty much a closed shape. You just got to make sure you finish quite close to where you started. And you can make that up of separate line segments as well. So use the rulers. Um, you can make a closed shape. Now that was in previously. What's changed is that I can now add some holes into uh, the shape. And what I do then is select it, selection menu, and it's called make shape. And what that's done, it's created a shape from the perimeter, but also allowed for holes within it. Um, so it's not quite clear what um, people will do with that yet, but um, I feel sure Dutch door type effects, things like that, it's going to be really useful. Um, so again, you can configure the settings of, of such a shape. Um, just trying to find the bit I want, shadows on that one. Um, there we go. Um, and again, these shapes you can use to mask images as well. So if you want to cut holes and, and a peculiar shape in an image, that's the way to do it. Draw it out and then um, use uh, the shape that you've, you've um, created as a mask for the image. Um, so trying to think what else has changed. Um, there's now um, add a link on the selection tools um, bar um, as well as long press um, other add a link here. Um, so that's just a, a, makes it a bit more accessible. Um, to uh, the add link function. Um, and the final thing I'll talk about is um, pages manager. Um, select, then if you select some pages or a page, you can choose um, cut or copy, so let's just go with copy, and then you can, there's a paste to button, and that will paste it into uh, this current document, but more usefully possibly is um, exit this document, um, let's go into that one, and it's remembered what pages you've copied, so I can paste to this one, um, one's fine, and there we got that page brought into this uh, document. Now that contrasts with how you used to do it, which would be this button here, import from a Zoom Notes document, and then you'd have to go through and find the document, etc. So it's slightly more streamlined. Um, than the previous uh, mechanism.